To rectify that edge, what I'm going to do now is lay it like any other Scandi edge, flat on the stone. This is a very coarse stone. What I'm doing is grinding out the imperfections that I left in it with the file. I'm not even working the edge yet. I'm just rectifying the irregularities in the Scandi edge. Once I have the edge the way I want it with the coarse stone, I've taken off as much steel as I, as I dare. I flip the stone over to the medium side, oil it up, and then continue the process with the medium Arkansas sandstone. Give myself a nice polished edge, and this I will actually use to take down to the edge. It's the first time I've actually worked with the edge on any of these different stones or file or whatever. First thing you want to flip over. Triangle right. Once I have the steel removed with the coarse stone down the way I want it, I'll use a combination of the diamond stone and a medium Arkansas to put the final polish on the edge until I can feel it's developing a wire edge. And once I feel that it's developing a wire edge along the length of the blade, you're getting it to where the edge of the steel is beginning to fold over at the very tip. So then I'll turn it and I'll go to my fine Arkansas for a final polish. The blade is already sharp enough to cut, so you got to be careful at this point. I'm sharpening a machete blade. They're long blades, so you have to sharpen them one section at a time. For the longer sweep of the convex edge, I like to angle the stone a little bit, and then just put a micro bevel all the way along the edge. This is working above the scandy part. Feels getting nice and sharp. But once all this work is done on the blade, you don't ever have to go back and do this again. Once you've got your basic convex on and a nice sharp micro bevel, that micro bevel is all you're going to be able to maintain in the field anyway. Uh, as soon as you start beating the snot out of your blade in the field, that edge is going to probably go dull eventually and you'll, be after, you'll have to redress it in the field. And reconvexing an edge in the field is kind of difficult. So all I use is a diamond stone, uh, a small diamond rod, and just touch up that edge and bring it back to life. Now the final step is to strop, and that will take, this, this edge is already sharp with the hard Arkansas stone. This is a wooden block which I've covered with a piece of uh, thick leather covered with white buffing compound. And you take your blade, you know, lay that scanty edge exactly flat on there and draw it backwards. That final polish will not hold up in the bush on the edge, it leaves a razor sharp base of the blade sharp enough to shave with. Now that edge will not take any impacts. If you smack into hard stuff with that, you're going to damage that portion of the blade. The convex edge has enough steel backing it up to hold up to impact. The scandy edge here does not. So if you're going to go and take the step of, of putting a scandy edge down there and stropping it and making it you know, a razor sharp part of the blade, you have to be very protective of that part of the blade or you'll put nicks in, in it and you can roll the edge and just use that edge for shaving. Normally that edge won't take any impacts at all if you're being careful. which you can strop the rest of the micro bevel as well.
course, the proof is in the cutting. This is the brand new, unmodified, unsharpened Tramoncina. Uh, you can see the factory edge on that is dull as can be. This is the one I just modified. Of course, the scanty edge down there is super sharp, but even the even the top part is sharp as well. And that's sharp enough for anything I would want to do in the bush. Of course, it won't stay that sharp. Uh, as soon as you start whacking on stuff with it, it's going to get dull again like any other tool. But with the, the way the edge is set up now, I know I can maintain the micro bevel up here and this candy edge with the simple uh, diamond rod I take with me into the bush. There you have it, what I do with machetes when I get them. And uh, the way this machete is set up, it can go into my favorite sheath and we're good to go.